Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I like to do is just kind of do a quick little video, you know, on how to apply and how to factor the difference of two squares. And I'll kind of go through just a kind of couple different examples so you can see the little bit of the variations of this. But basically the difference of two squares is when we have a square term minus um, another square term, then we can factor that using the difference of two squares. So therefore I could have something um, that the factored form would be a minus b times a plus b. Now, how does this really work, you know, with exact with a problem? Well, let's just kind of go through some problems. Let's do uh, uh, x squared minus 16. Let's do 4x squared minus 9. And let's do uh, 4, uh, let's do another one here. Let's do 16x squared minus 25y squared. And then let's do x to the fourth minus um, x to the fourth minus, let's do 64. Okay, now here's all examples of some problems that we can do by using difference of two squares. And basically when you're doing difference of two squares, if you have a square term minus another square term, then basically you just want to find, figure out what a and b are. So in this case, we can say, you know, a squared equals x squared and b squared equals 16. So basically what you want to do is identify what a and b are. So to do that, you just take the square root to determine the square root of x squared is just going to be x. And so you, therefore we can say a equals x and b equals um, the square root of 16, which is 4. So therefore I'd say x plus 4 times x minus 4. All right. Now in the same case over here, um, if you took the square root, the square root, now you're going to take the square root of 4 and x squared. So therefore we could say that a is going to be 2x and b will equal 3. Okay, I'm not going to go through the, all the steps again. Um, but if you take the square root of 4x squared, you can say a is just 2x. So this one would be 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Um, over here, now we have a square term. Now we definitely have two variables, but it's going to be the same thing. You're going to want to take the square root of this, determine is this a square term? Well, yes, 16 is a square number, x is a square number, 25 is a square number, and y squared is a square number. So therefore, I can say a is 4x and b equals 5y. Now, using the difference of two squares, 4x plus 5y times 4x minus 5y. All right, and the last one, this one kind of gets a little bit of students confused, but again, what we want to do is we want to be able to write x to the fourth as a squared number. And so a lot of times what, this, what we can do this for is use the power of exponents. So I could say x to the fourth is the same thing as x squared squared, right? So if I rewrote this as x squared squared equals, um, or is equal to a squared. Now, when I take the square root of this, I'm just left with a is equal to x squared. So now my square term is actually, or my, now my, my a is now x squared. So this one would be x squared plus the square root of 64 is 8 times x squared minus 8. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic overview of how you apply or how you factor using the difference of two squares. Thanks.